Well, hey, everybody, welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable, relatable to our everyday lives, that is. So guys, really quickly, this is going to be very quick. And anytime I do a quick podcast, I always am careful to remember, because so many of you guys love my theme song uh, here to the channel, uh, to play the entire song. By the way, the name of the artist and the name of the song is always in the description box, okay? You don't have to ask. It's always there. Now, now, remember the other day when we were talking, I was sharing with you guys some information that I received that uh, about what's allegedly, okay, because I won't be sued, allegedly going on with Megan behind the scenes. And I told y'all, I'm going to come back and tell you the rest. Well, I got tired after work that day and I just couldn't do it, y'all. So anyway, so here it is. Do you guys know, uh, recall that for the last couple of months, Megan's been coming on the show saying saying this phrase or something, a variation of this phrase. I can't keep coming on the show every day. I just can't keep coming here every day. Have y'all heard her say that? Well, I heard that this is the very phrase that she's been using to push back against the executive producer, which is Brian Tetta, and her producer on the show. Now, you guys know, most of you who um, hang out with me, you know, we've talked about this before, but maybe some of the newer listeners don't know. Each woman on the show has her own producer that's assigned to her. That's not Brian Tetta. Brian is over all those producers who are assigned to the women. And those producers' jobs are to help them, you know, with what's on their blue card and, you know, talk with them, kind of find out what they're thinking so they can uh, get a script together for the women or, you know, find out, you know, if you read this book, kind of what questions do you think, what, you know, things like that. So they're kind of like the, the women's assistant in a lot of ways, but they have a very, very important role. So, but they do work with and for the women. So, but allegedly, this phrase is what she's been saying to them behind the scenes because allegedly Megan feels that she's being pressured or kind of coerced to come on the show and present a view. Uh, uh, let me read my notes here. She, she allegedly feels pressured to come on the show and present a side of the Republican view that she herself does not feel is accurate. OK, now I don't have any I didn't hear anything else other than that. So what that, that exactly means, I do not know. OK, so, yeah. So I know for all of you guys who, like me, <laughs> were hoping that this was a, this was the red flag, you know, that OK, maybe she's getting so frustrated. She's about to quit. No, nope, nada. This is just her way of pushing back. And, you know, I guess, you know, I don't really know what she could feel pressured about, to be honest. So. I don't know what pressure she could feel because I feel like, well, you've never really done much of your own thinking on here anyway. So what's the pressure? Just keep doing what you've always done. But allegedly, she feels like she's being pressured. And so this is what she's been saying to them. I can't keep doing this. I can't keep coming on here doing this. And so when we hear her say that on the show, it's just spill over. But guys, I'll talk to you on the next podcast. Bye. Trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, and you wanna be my friend. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you.